What's up everybody, this is Hobbit, and I wanna make a quick video on um, how I am securing the, uh, the stakes on this trailer. This, this part, there's a, uh, a hole in these stake post uh, brackets, and I wanna make sure this hardware, uh, the back piece, and then the front on the tongue, they overlap right here. Uh, let me see if I can do this. And so, basically, if you keep this secured, the back and the front, the uh, the sides aren't going to be able to go up and down if you hit a bump or something like that. Um, and so, I just wanted to show you what I did, um, and it's a quick, easy fix. And uh, I think I spent maybe like ten bucks, but um, I'm going to show you real quick. This is a, just a super quick video. Okay, so I got. Four of these pins, they're um, three eighths pins, and um, I think they're two inches long, um, maybe two and a half inches long, from uh, Lowe's, and uh, it uh, I think they were like a dollar a piece. Um, but I I could have machined some of these, but I chose to go with these because of how many uh, pin holes it has, just to give me some more options. Um, and it's just, it's really solid, and I, I didn't want to screw around with uh, trying to machine these, even though it's pretty easy to do. <clears throat> if you have a drill press, it's definitely easy to do. But in any event, um, these brackets, they have um, a hole here, and the frame has a hole. Now, I had to take a, a, a drill bit and... Um, Increase the size of these just a little bit, but in any event, um, there's a hole there. And so what I did was um, I just increased the size of the hole a little bit, and you can stick this pin through like this. And I have this cutter pin, and um, you can just stick it in right here like this. And that's pretty much that. Now, I got some of this chain at Lowe's as well. That's kind of my preference is Lowe's. Uh, some people are Home Depot, I'm Lowe's. And it was like a 10 foot section of this chain. And I got it, sorry, this chain is kinking up there. I got it, I think it was like five or something, five or so dollars, there we go. And uh, it was about five or so dollars. And I just cut some lengths of the chain and I took a lag screw and just put it right here in the post. And I did that just so that um, I don't have to try to keep up with these pins whenever I pull them out to take the sides off. Um, it just makes it kind of handy the, uh, to keep, keep these pins in place. That's pretty much that. I did the other side earlier. And looks good. Uh, kind of gives it a a good look, and uh, there's some function to it, which is what I'm kind of all about. The other thing I was going to sh uh, show you guys is I put I got a pack of these uh, surface mount tie downs um, on Amazon for like there was there's ten of them, and I think it was like fifteen bucks, and they have um, it's like a thousand pound. Uh, a thousand pound working limit, working load, and uh, like a 1600 pound uh, breakaway limit. And um, I've just mounted some of those on the sides here of the frame because I intend to use this for the, uh, the boat as well. And I'm gonna put a few more. Um, I did some on that side. Here's another quick view of those uh, surface mount tie downs. There's one there on the corner. I showed you that one over there. And I put a few on the front as well. Put one here, and then there's one over there. I'm gonna put uh, one or two down the sides, on both sides as well. But that gives you an idea, just um, they go on pretty easy. And I also put this eye bolt here, um, two, one here and one on the back. And I intend to use that with some ratchet straps on the back end of the uh, boat when I load it.
but I'm also going to uh, put some of these on the floor of the of the trailer as well. And I really like these because they're a single hole mount versus uh, the two hole. Um, it just makes it simpler. But anyways, these are cheap and um, and they've got a good uh, working load for what I intend to do. So anyways, that's pretty much that for now. Um, once I get the front done, that will be pretty much it. And then I'm gonna transition to uh, creating a rolling system um, for the boat. So we'll see how that goes. But <clears throat> as for now, I just wanted to show you what I did here on the uh, on the post. I think it's um, it's gonna work well.